If you're tired of being tied down to your desk but still need seamless access to your computer from anywhere in the world, you're in for a treat. Today, I'm excited to introduce you to a game changer in remote access, the Remote PC app by iDrive. Getting started with Remote PC. There's no real way to use Remote PC without creating an account, which you must do when you either pay for a plan or sign up for a seven-day team or enterprise trial. No credit or debit card is required for them. After you sign up, the site logs you into the web version and the desktop client downloads. You need to install the client and log into your account on all the computers that you want to manage and manage from. Eventually, you see a list of all your current computers, which you can remotely manage by double-clicking. You need to provide a personal key for every computer, in addition to your account password. But you can opt out of the need to re-enter it every time you connect if you prefer. Smooth from Windows. Remote PC offers two streaming modes, Classic and Performance. Classic mode works well. I noticed some stuttering with Remote PC. I tested the software locally on my home network and from the far corner of a car dealership while my brakes were being tested. I found it easy to browse the web and remotely edit a slideshow, though watching videos was a bit more than classic mode could handle. The aptly named Performance Mode, however, works every bit as well as TeamViewer. Remote PC claims this mode operates at up to 60 FPS, and while the up to is doing a lot of work in the claim, it's less of an exaggeration than you might think. In testing, I could stream videos with sound and not notice the lag. The downside. Performance mode is only offered if you're connecting to a Windows PC from either a Windows computer or a Mac. Using a remote PC in the browser and on mobile. A unique feature of remote PC is its web version. Just log into the remote PC website on any device and you can control every device on which you've installed it. It's useful if you're ever on a computer on which you're not allowed to install software. The downside? The performance of the web version is worse in every way. It's a far cry from performance mode or even classic mode in the desktop to desktop experience. The lag is noticeable, but I was still able to do basic tasks like edit a document. Don't plan on using the web to PC remote controls for graphic design, but it's a nice feature to have should you need it. If, for example, you need to retrieve a locally saved file. A mobile version of remote PC, which I tested on my phone, also lets you control a PC from afar. Connecting to my Windows computer from the phone was straightforward. And there's a brief gesture tutorial that teaches you how to use the touch screen to drive your computer. You can zoom into any region of the screen, which makes navigation much easier. And there's a handy toolbar for activating the keyboard, enabling remote sound, and enabling the whiteboard. Controlling a PC using a mobile device is always going to be a little awkward, but the app works well. Note that mobile apps are strictly one way. You can't control a mobile device from your computer. Transferring files and more via remote PC. Remote PC offers a file transfer window for any device you're connected to. The two-pane file browser, almost identical to that offered by TeamViewer, allows you to transfer files directly from a folder on one device to a folder to another. Other features include whiteboarding, which opens a window with a pen and eraser. You can draw on the screen, which is handy when you want to point out something while giving someone else tech support. Whatever you draw will stay on the screen until you erase it. Click clear or close the whiteboard window. Additionally, a text chat and a sticky note feature let you leave notes in case you make changes to a system while the user is away. Use remote PC only with those you trust. As a word of caution, never install remote access software if someone you don't know tells you to do it. It is a common technique hackers use to remotely steal your information and access financial accounts. For example, if someone claiming to be tech support calls you out of the blue to diagnose a problem or fix your bank account and asks you to install a remote access app, hang up. You're talking to a scammer. Call the dedicated phone number for the company in question instead and ask if there are any issues you need to address. How much does Remote PC cost? Remote PC doesn't offer a free version, but you can get a seven-day free trial with no payment details required. If you decide to get a permanent account, first is the consumer plan for one license and two computer with my link in description, which costs $5.95 per year. Second is the consumer plan for one license, but five computers, which costs $7.95 for first year. There are no month-to-month -month payment options, and you can get a slightly better deal by paying for two years up front. Thanks for watching. Hope this helped. If so, hit like and subscribe for more content.